hey loves welcome to my channel today we'll be making a tennis skirt for this tutorial i'll be using a fabric gum stay and my fabric so i'm using about um, one and a half meters of fabric for this tutorial roughly one and a half meters of fabric so now i went ahead to fold my fabric into two make sure you're folding your fabric into two so now we'll be cutting our band so for this band um, I'll be using 4 inches for my width and 1 inches for sewing allowance that is making 5 inches so now I'm just going to place that measurement out on my fabric to get our band and I'm going to cut that out So after cutting that out, I went ahead to glue my fabric say to my um, fabric. So this is just to give the fabric some level of balance because the fabric I'm using is a bit soft. So and I want the ba the band to be able to carry the weight of the down part of the fabric. So that's why I'm attaching um, my gum stay to it. So the stay is just to add some structure to the band. So this is what it looks like after I've added the band to it, after I've attached the band to it, you can see it's having more structure now and this is much more preferable for a band. So now we are going to cut out the down part of the skirt. So to do that, I'm going to be taking the length of this. So to determine your length, your overall length for the skirt, you have to minus your band from the length. If your band, as I'm using um, 4 inches and I'm going to be folding the band into 2 and it's going to be giving me 2 inches later on after I've folded the band into 2. So I'm going to be minusing that 2 inches from my original length of um the skirt so after doing that i'm going to take out the length on the fabric for the down part and i'm going to take my hip measurements i'm going to take my hip measurement times two your hip times two is going to determine the fullness of the pleating on the down part of the fabric so that is the measurement you are going to use for the down part of the fabric so i just went ahead to trim so trim away some rough edges from the band so after doing that i'm just going to make a notch there i'm going to determine the midpoint of the band and i'm going to be notching that out on both sides so now after you've gotten the down part of the skirt i'm just going to place the fabric on the band um right side facing each other So make sure you are pinning that down so as to make sure it's sitting down well so after doing that i'm just going to take my tape measure and i'm going to be taking one inches on that point there you can see i placed one inches on that point so after doing that on that point i place one inches i'm just going to take my finger and i'm going to pinch up some fabric up there and i'm going to make sure the fabric i pinched up from that one inches point is balancing down on another one inches point that is one inches i hope you guys understand what i'm what i'm saying if you don't understand just look at what i'm doing i'm still going to repeat i'm going to repeat that process again so you can you can see what i'm doing so just look at it after i pin down the first one inches i 
pinched up some fabric against some amount of fabric and i placed my tape measure on that point there to make sure that fabric i pinched up is resting down on one inches then i you can see you can see again i pinched it up place my tape measure there to ensure it's resting down on one inches then i pinned it down so that's what's going to give us our pleats the pleats we have on the lower part of the skirts that's how we are going to get that pleat so i'm just using one inches for my pleat you can go ahead to use 1.5 inches you can use two inches for your pleat you can even use three inches for your pleats or more depending on how wide you want your pleats to be so you can see now we have the structure for the pleats already so for you to get that structure perfectly after you've pleated this down just take it to your ironing table and iron down those pleats so this is what i have after i've added the pleats to the band so this is what it looks like i went ahead to sew down my band on the pleats there so don't forget to leave um one inches 1.5 inches i mean for the zipper allowance the 1.5 inches we took for the zipper allowance on the band don't forget to leave that 1.5 inches on the lower part of the skirt too so after doing that i'm just going to take my band i'm going to take my band in and i'm going to take the band the top part of the band and i'm going to fold it in just look at what i'm doing you understand so i'm just going to fold it in like so and i'm going to place it on the band such that it's covering the inner joining um the inner seam of the joining i have there i'm just going to place it on top and fold it in then pin it down so that um we won't have any joining in the inner part of the skirt so that's just going to make the skirt look more neater so after doing that and i'm going to repeat that process to the down part so i took it to my sewing machine and i stitched it down so now we are going to be attaching the zipper for for the skirt i'm using a zipper for my skirt today so what i'm going to do is take the length of the zip and i'm going to place the length of the zip on the skirt there so as to know where my zipper is going to be ending so now i'm just going to take that 1.5 inches we took before from the zipper allowance and i'm going to be connecting it up to that point the length of the zip so i'm going to take that point there to my sewing machine i'm going to sew from that top point there where my finger is placed on and i'm going to sew it down so we are going to be leaving the opening for the zipper only that's the only part we are leaving open there so i went ahead to sew down my edges the edge of my skirt so i took about um quarter of an inch folded twice to get that so this is what i have after i went ahead to iron my skirt i iron down the pleats you can see what the pleats is looking like this is looking more of a tennis skirt now so i had um i attached my zipper already and you can see how neat this zipper is i used an invisible zipper if you 